Kushesha on the left in blue. Leolich in the white on the right-hand side. Kushesha will sit guard, I'm sure. Are we going to try to pull into the half guard? <coughs> yeah. Oh, actually. <laughs> Bouchesha did like not it. want to stand up very long with Leo. He loves to surprise, huh? Yeah, that was pretty slick. Low single attempt. Really nice. Look at the wide base from Leo. <laughs> I love the way that Bouchesh opened up the game. Yeah, he's going to go for it. As you mentioned earlier, Braulio, Bouchesh has another fight, no matter what happens here, against Leo Noguera from Alliance. And uh, how the duration of this match is going to impact that big time. Because Leo just got off the hook and didn't have to fight Bernardo Faria. Yeah, it's true, yeah. It also, um, is, is the duration means a lot, but as the most of it is the energy spended, you know? Yeah. Uh, if the fight carry on like that, it's not going to be a big deal for Bouchesha in the terms, but if they let late start putting pressure and make Bouchesha work hard, you know, that was a good, good setup. Got to be careful. Sumagashi when it comes up on a single one. Wow, nice. That's a great shoot. Bouchesha is very confident on uh, yeah. his game. Yeah. Now, now it's trouble for Leo Leitch, I think. Bouchesha on top. Yeah, that's not the favorite position to be there for Leo. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I cleared him back out. On my view, should be two points. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is two points. So the fight. Oh, the refs disagree. It off. Yeah. I think should be two points from my point of view. He was on top and then he retreated back. So. Yeah. And he used the legs to do it, right? Yeah. So. Maybe he took too long to join the, the, the distance. Yeah. The Alliance team, they're very concentrated. Rafael Fuentes and Felipe Costa, can you please come and see Jacob Vasquez in the warm-up area? Rafael Fuentes and Felipe Costa, can you come please see Jacobo Vasquez in the warm-up area? Thank you. Clock choke. Clock choke coming. This is a great clock choke. I like this version. I was going to say Walid versus Hoist right here. Oh, that yeah. was a good skate by Bouchesha. Beautiful escape. Oh, I had to pass, but. Uh oh. Whoa, oh. Three points for Bouchesha. And now. Four Five more. plus four, nine zero. Three. Great performance by Bouchesha. Yeah. Carry on this way is going to be a big plus for his final. How old is Bouchesha? Low 20s. Yeah, he's only yeah. 23 years old. Rodolfo's too. Very young, right? Leo's concentrating a lot on those grips. Should it be more focused on getting one leg out or regaining half? Yeah, I mean, that, in that case there, you know, it's, it's much safer if you try to go to the half guard, then deep half guard, then regaining guard, because 
if you go full on to escape, it's going to be very hard to roll him over. It's a very predictable situation, and if you go too much, you can give the back, so, yeah. I like that approach, too. Bouchet should get in a breathing cleverly. <laughs> should take, uh, yeah, that's why I'm wondering, like, why Leo doesn't push it a little bit and try and... For his it. teammate. <laughs> yeah. Try to make uh, Bouchet tired for the teammate, if nothing else. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do, to be honest. <laughs> Just over halfway through. Nine to zero after five minutes for Bouchesha in the blue gi against Leo Lich in the white gi from Alliance on bottom. around the corner there to threaten an arm. Doesn't look maybe a little more conservative. Leo being uh, training much longer and much more often on the, as a judo Brazilian team, you know, he was focused on the Olympics, you know, and um, he just was caught out in the last minute, so that's why he decided to come and compete, you know, mm. so I don't think he's been training very often when he's back on the ground like, in that situation, so you can tell that there's a little bit out of timing on that, but in, I guess Bouchesha, of course, is even not a very good position to be at. Yeah, this is probably, well, I think it is unusually long for us to see this mount in this division, just kind of stable. Yeah. Normally something has happened by now. Yeah. You know, I think it's two factors happening that is, uh, firstly, Bushesha wants to save some energy for his finals, for his final against Leo Nogueira in the absolute, which is very going to be very important, very needed. And uh, by Leo Leite is not being spending so much time on his, on his back um, during, during, I mean, do, do by being training for the Olympics worlds yeah. in, ju in judo. Nine zero the score, and uh, Leo has two advantages. You know, if you want to win this fight, he needs to do anything now. Yeah, two little over two minutes left. Yeah, some folks in the chat room are pointing out the, the workout that Leo had not too long ago against Alexander Trons, which was a very tough match. Mm -hmm. He did one, yeah. Cow hand. Some moment back for that. Yeah. To the arm. There he gets it. Wow. What a nice setup. It, it looked like wow. a reverse smile on Javaka. Wow. He's very happy. <laughs> and should be. <laughs> so Bouchesha wins the ultra heavyweight division of the 2012 World Championships. Maybe he's doing something out of there, right? 